Coralize. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 200, and I'm your Sunday host, DBougie86, here again. Yes, guys, as you know, it's our special theme week this week of 90s Horror Week. As you know, there was a lot of, like, the 90s in general was very mixed in opinions on films and uh, what was good or bad. And the film that I chose to do today is a film from 1998, which actually didn't get a release until uh, last year from Mondo Macabro put it out on DVD. It was considered like a lost film. It's a film from Greece and it goes by the title of Medusa. Yes, look at that awesome cover art that Mondo did for this release. Uh, if you don't know about Medusa at all, it's pretty much uh, the Medusa myth and pretty much a, a reinterpretation of that mythos through a 90s subculture in Greece. And they update like uh, the legend pretty much with this film. Uh, pretty much the main plot is when we're introduced to our main character, Perseus. Perseus, of course, that's the title of our main character. And we meet him as a young boy and we find out that he had like this very odd upbringing and something happened in his life that recurrence with uh, what happened and he had like a troubled life as a kid. It goes 10 years into the future and we find out uh, Perseus has grown up and he's part of like this uh, syndicate of thieves that uh, go around and rob people's houses when uh, they're out of the house, uh, out of town or et cetera, et cetera, because uh, two people that are involved that he knows actually buy the houses and work in the retail industry. So they find out like this house is gonna be abandoned. So they decide to go and do like this heist at this house, pretty much with uh, him and his three of his other friends they're involved in this uh, thievery syndicate. And while this is going on also, uh, pretty much what ends up happening is uh, there's these weird occurrences happening in Greece where uh, these statues are being found throughout the city. And they're like full size, like body statues with clothing on them. And pretty much what ends up happening is uh, there's this investigation going on why this is happening, what these statues are. And once uh, Perseus and his friends get to the house, these two stories kind of interlock with each other. That's pretty much uh, the main uh, plot that I'm going to give away. I don't want to really spoil too much for you with this one. Now, my thoughts on the film. Uh, very interesting uh, aspect with like uh, doing like uh, this new take on the Medusa legend with like the Gorgon and like if you've seen Medusa before and like Clash of the Titans and uh, certain other films like uh, the pretty much like anything that do with like Greek mythology in a way and they use that and they build on it and there's some certain aspects of Medusa that I didn't know about before and until I seen this film and it's very interesting like the certain aspects that they go with the Medusa character in this film uh, pretty much uh, though uh, probably my only main gripe of the film though uh, you don't get to see that really in the film you know what I mean you get to see like Medusa and stuff but you don't get to see like the full like scale like version of Medusa that we all know and love like uh, the snakes and the hair and uh, the scariness. You do get to see some cool effects though with aspect of that because uh, there's one scene in particular where you actually get to see somebody being turned into stone and the effects on it are very awesome and it has like this uh, very awesome vibe with the stone statues themselves. I really like the design of them. They do kind of look kind of freaky and lifelike when you see them in person. And uh, the investigation part of this film, it actually comes and goes. And you think that uh, the film actually kind of, the investigation part of this actually kind of feels like a giallo in a way. With like uh, the characters trying to find out what's going on with this. But it disappears from the film because we're following this other storyline too. With Perseus and his friends and what they're trying to discover what's going on inside this house and this lady that lives in this house pretty much and it also goes into more like Perseus past of what happened in his family and what happened and uh, made him the way he was and stuff so it has a lot a lot of undertones with that also that uh, could confuse some people I'm saying uh, 
pretty much this film might not be for everyone because of the aspects of like uh, the ratios and it doesn't really have like a lot of gore and violence. It's pretty more like a psychological like uh, movie that you think to. But I think fans of like uh, Greek mythology and Medusa's legend would actually really appreciate this film for what it was because it is beautifully shot. It has some of the best cinematography that I've seen in a film. Actually, when I put the film in, it looks like a film from the 70s. It has like that 70s look to it with like uh, the aspects and the soundtrack's amazing in this film. It has like this aspect like soundtrack with like these like guitars and stuff that you don't really hear in a lot of like these like thriller horror films. It has like this like organic like hard rock like soundtrack with hard rock guitars and it has like some slow like somber moments too where like these like uh bass lines and like uh chords come in and they're very tingling with the soundtrack with that aspect but i really did dig this film it has like this uh great like a uh, mystery what's going on and you're just glued to the screen to find out what the very end of the film and the aspect of its ending is and uh, just the attention and I really did like the characters especially Perseus and his friends and I even like the investigators they had like some kind of humor in them that uh, you don't see in like a lot of like cops in like certain films and especially because they don't know what the fuck's going on they're like what the hell is going on why is he statues and like all that bullshit but yeah I highly enjoy this film it's not a perfect film by any means but it has like a lot of good aspects of good filmmaking in it that I like, like like good cinematography, good soundtrack, and just uh, different aspects of the Medusa character that I've never seen in the film before. I don't want to really spoil them for you if you do want to check this out. So if I had to rate this film, it's going to sell like 8 out of 10 for me. It's a really solid film with a lot of good aspects and it keeps you glued to the screen even though it's not like gory or anything. It's a film a thinking man's horror film pretty much it has like that thriller aspect with trying to find out the mystery what's going on which i do like also i like movies that make you think and you look back and rewatch the film and you're like oh i didn't see that before it has like you see something different in every time you view this one so eight out of ten from medusa really awesome film and really great like a uh, transfer from mondo macabro with this release like i said uh, this was a lost film and they found it and I love Mondo for this because they find like these obscure like foreign films that I never heard of and I really enjoy them for what they are. Now for special features on this release we have an interview with the director, interview with the lead actor who plays Perseus, trailer, uh, and more trailers for like the Mondo Macabro previews which is on pretty much most of their releases. Uh, really awesome stuff this is in Greece. So uh, you have to read subtitles. Don't be lazy, people. Awesome stuff. A mystery into lies and, and awesome shit. So Medusa, 8 out of 10. I highly recommend it. All right, guys. That's it for this review. I'll be back next week with another one for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you then. Peace out.